All right, so you're brand new to 3D. There's two terms that you have to know, object and component, okay? So an object is this. It's an object within Maya. Now, it could be a model. It could be a different type of model. It could be a curve. These are still all objects, okay? Now, the thing that they were made out of are components. Just like this, a polygon object is made out of a few different components than these surfaces, which are made out of completely different types of components. Curves have their own components. They all share a likeness to each other, but not necessarily always perfect in the fact that um, one might have a vertice, the other one might have a CV point, or a vertex point. Okay. Sort of the same terminology, but different things. We're going to be using polygon primitives within the class, so we're going to have to learn the terminology of the components on a polygon object. Just going to delete this one. I want you to make sure you uncheck this. That way whenever I'm going in and making a object that is a polygon, it just magically appears without me having to interactively create it. All right, so um, if you right click on anything, you can go to the object mode. Okay, now you can also go to object mode here. There's object mode, and here's component mode. I prefer the right click method. Let's go to one of the components, which is first the vertice. Vertice exists on every corner here, and four vertices make up this face. Now you can have a triangle, which would be three vertices that make up the face. Four is a quad, and then anything outside of four is an n-gon. All right, so let's go to face, which is just the next component, right-click face. Now, all components can be scaled, rotated, okay, and moved around. W-E-R on the keyboard is the shortcut for getting to move, rotate, and scale. Now, if you highlight like one vertice, you're not going to be able to rotate it. You can move it, and you cannot scale it. So, in itself, the vertice is the single molecule. It cannot be um, scaled or rotated. Two vertices can be scaled and can be rotated. The two vertices are connected with an edge. So that is the third component, edge. Edges can be rotated, scaled, moved, and in conjunction with each other, they can be scaled just like having four vertices. So in the heat of battle, it's all about highlighting your components. Really, the first day of modeling class is kind of funny because um, the students really have a hard time with just rotating around the model and let's say I have this face highlighted, rotating around and highlighting this face with shift. And let's say then deciding to switch over to a vertice and highlighting that vertice and moving it around. The, the dexterity between switching between components is a very hard thing for new students to get and comprehend. But once you do it a few thousand times, trust me in this, you will become a master at it overnight. Just like playing video games, you suck at video games at first until you get really good at it. So navigation, really hard for new students. Practice navigation, flip around a little bit, you know, grab certain components, try to move them around. Okay, now every object is made out of different components. Let's take this for example. These are polygon primitives, so they're made of the three, vertice, 
face and edges. But if you went to surfaces and drop down one of these, click, drag, click, drag, that's what interactive creation is, by the way. You can right click on it and you can see these are made out of ISO arms, vertexes, hulls, and surface UVs. Okay? Much different. They function so much differently. So if you ever see that, you, you accidentally made a surface and not a polygon primitive. And last, there's curves, which we'll study curves a little bit later. But if we go into a curve, right click, we have curve points, curve vertexes, and edit points. Again, much different. So sometimes we'll be using surfaces to convert them over to polygons, and sometimes we use curves to manipulate polygons. But for right now, just know the three majors and how to switch between them very easily. All right, so now let's look at the next thing, which is selections. It's a pretty important concept, and I want to share that with you in the next video.